top 10 strongest hunter hunter characters 2017 now when it comes to the series hunter hunter it is very difficult to gauge the power levels between characters and honestly my top 10 list will get laughed at by a lot and a lot of people will be angry of this list because a lot of it is speculation we haven't really seen the full extent of their abilities we haven't seen nothing from some of these characters abilities just from the information that we got i have made my list and i apologize if you were angry about this list i will mention some honorable mentions i got characters like pito shy a poof up from the camera antark the royal guards they were very impressive all three characters Botobai, he's from the zodiacs he's said to be the closest to isaac netru and abilities from the zodiacs so i definitely feel like you got to respect him as a character and his power uh, ilumi hisoka uh ginta from the zodiacs kanzai from the zodiacs a lot of zodiacs periston hill we, he says he's weak jing said he's weak but honestly, I feel like he's strong, so he could be in the top 10, but I'm gonna put him in the honorable mention just to play it safe. I also have characters like Phaeton, Finks, and Nobunaga from the Phantom Troop. Uh, the whole Phantom Troop is impressive, but these characters kind of stood out for me when it comes to their power. Also, gotta mention Uvogan, RIP. Uh, I gotta get some respect to Uvogan. But yeah, these are just some characters. I finally wanna say one more character, but I don't wanna spoil anybody, but I'll just say this Zig Zodig. That's all I'm gonna say. Zig Zodig DC. That's all I'm gonna say. I don't want to spoil anybody but that's pretty much my honorable mention number 10 Zeno. now Zeno, the old head of the family confirmed like it kind of been confirmed that he's under Krolo in power because when he fought Krolo, Krolo asked who would win in a fight and Zeno said uh i would win in a fight of course but if you're actually trying to kill me then you would come out on top or like he didn't really know who would come out on top so i kind of feel like xeno is kind of alluding that Krolo is going after powers and makes him weaker but if he's actually trying to kill someone Krolo is a very dangerous character a very top tier character so xeno i feel like i gotta put him under Krolo. he kind of hyped up netro to the extreme measures and he kind of seems like he's not in his prime anymore and you've seen that in the fight against uh, Krolo where he kind of didn't even care about dying yo he's like Zil silva kill me so i have to put him at number 10 for my personal opinion number nine silva the current head of the zoldic family he's in his prime uh we've seen moments where like he took out a phantom troop in the past a phantom troop and he actually fought crollo in the past and survived so i just want to give that that guy some respect to that he stated that crollo got stronger at the uh, fight with Zeno and crollo so he can actually gauge how strong crollo is and let's just say this uh he's an assassin and uh, he's so he's he's one of the main characters father father killer so story wise he definitely has some hype behind him and i just want to say this people say xeno is stronger because uh xeno actually fought crollo and silva was in the background but honestly i feel like the reason why xeno wanted to fight crollo is because silva is a very important character when it comes to the family of the zoldic family and xeno kind of is retired as the old head so he didn't care about his life and they care about just having the best chance of uh killing their uh assassin who they need to assassinate so i definitely have silver over xeno just because he's in his prime but honestly they kind of seem like they're equal number eight crollo and a lot of people are gonna say oh nen mac you're a crollo fanboy honestly crollo i'm not really a crollo fanboy i just from the information i got i i do think that crollo silva and xeno are around the same level uh i'm not gonna put them like each like crollo's a huge gap between them and honestly it could go either way like silva could be strong than crollo xeno could be strong than crollo but right now i have to put crollo above these two characters Characters and it hurts me because I actually like Silva and Zeno better than Krolo and I was root I was rooting for them in the fight. But this guy that he impresses me and what he showcases is pretty much when he's going after a kill, he's very dangerous. And we know in the manga, I don't want to spoil anybody, but a fight, a certain fight between a character that looks like a clown, yo, he's Soka. He got that work, yo. He got that work. I definitely respect Krolo's powder power. Now there has been a data book that kind of made that Krolo was around the same level as Hisoka. But right now, I gotta give some respect to Krolo and ignore the data book, yo. I feel like he's very powerful. Number seven, Beyond Netro. Now, if you're an anime only, you should mute the video because you probably don't even know who this character is. But this character is a part of the manga and we know little about him. But we do know that he's been to the Dark Continent and he's been back. And I, I think I believe that he's been there twice. I'm not too sure. He's the son of Isaac Netro. And Isaac Netro in his prime was so hyped up. I believe that Beyond Netro should be around the same level as Isaac Netro in, the, in his prime 
that's just a speculation, a theory. I'm not too 100 sure, but the fact that he's leading an actual squad, a, a, he's leading a kingdom into the dark continent. I gotta respect his power, yo. He's very hyped. Beyond Netro, it actually has me shook it though. He's gonna have some crazy stuff there. Adult gone. I have a go adult gone at number six. And honestly, the reason why I got adult gone at number six is because of what Pito said. Pretty much saying like he's equal to the king. He's equal to Medium when he's in this form. And honestly, I, I, I the reason why I have him under Medium is because Yo, the fact that Pito cut his uh, arm off, I kind of put him a little points. I, I took a little points off Adult Gone, but the fact that he destroyed Pito with relative ease and just kept on hammering on the body, Adult Gone is not someone you can mess with. I pretty much have him equal to the Medium King pre nuke. Number five, Medium. Let's be honest here. I love Netro. Net Netro is one of my favorite characters in the Hunter Hunter series, but I'm just going to say this Zero Hand. Netro gave it his all. He wasn't in his prime, but he gave it his all, and he only had a little scratches on Medium. Now, add to the fact that Medium gained more power after the nuke that he took the, the rose pretty much from Netro. He died, and then he came back to life because of UP and Poof. Uh, pretty much, they were giving him uh, their body to him. It was very weird, but he got way stronger. He got new abilities, and post nuke medium is a scary character and it's so surprising now we know his origins are from the dark continent because his mother came from the dark continent but man oh man such a strong character in an early arc so, so surprising number four jing freaks now this is where a lot of people are gonna be like yo this guy has no feet what the hell is wrong with you Ned mac you put jing freaks over medium when he has no feet medium let's be honest here medium has the best feet in the actually hunter hunter series like nobody has better feet than medium in the hunter hunter series but I'm going to go off hype and speculation when it comes to Jin Freaks. Since the beginning of this series, he's been hyped up. We know Bisky, who's a very strong character. In the data book, they had Bisky over Krolo. She's very powerful in the data book. And the reason I, I should have added her to the honorable mentions, but I just forgot, to be honest. She's a character where when it comes to power, you forget because she's so funny, comedic. But I want to say this. She stated that Jin Freaks was a top 5 Nen user. Paris did another Zodiac really wanted to see Jing's Nen ability. He was dying to see it. I'm going to spoil the territory when it comes to the manga. We did see that Jing can copy physical abilities that he's hit with when it comes to Nen. He copied Leo Rio's attack and actually got made it better. So this guy is a genius and that's not even part of his main Nen capability. So we're seeing some lit stuff from Jing in the manga and I can't wait to the hiatus end so we can see more. But I'm going off on a limb, yo, saying he's a top 5 Nen user. I'm saying he's above uh, Medium now. Might be a crazy stretch, but I'm going to go with that. I don't give a crap, yo. YOLO. Number 3. I'm sorry. I have to put him there. Prime Netero. Yes, I'm putting Prime Netero at number 3. He's pretty much double the strength of old Netero. The best Nen user. He went to the Dark Continent. He has crazy stuff. Like the things they were talking about him and his power. He served, like it, they hyped up him surviving uh, against another opponent. I want to put in this list. Yo, I got Prime Netero at number 3. No debate. Zero hand when it comes to Prime Netero. Oh, I, I definitely feel like he could take out Medium. And Medium did out strategic him when it comes to him, him, him and Komogi's battles helping him but I think Prime Netro will last out. Number 2 Maha Zoldic. When, it, when, when you hear these words Prime Netro barely survived against this character number 2 there's nothing more I can say let's move on to number 1 I'm not gonna say anything more he is the strongest Zoldic. Number 1 Dawn Freaks when you survive 300 years in the dark continent take out the D and it's gone freak with a G Honestly, this character, he might be the great great grandfather of Gon, I'm not too sure. 300 years in the Dark Continent. The fact that Jing Freaks is hyping this dude up, I definitely feel like he's the strongest character in the Hunter Hunter series. I may be proven wrong. We don't know if he's a fighter. We don't know anything about his abilities. I could be just grasping at straws, but he's my number one strongest character in Hunter Hunter. I said it's gonna be a lot of speculation, a lot of theories in this top 10. And you might say this is rubbish, this is garbage, yo. These guys have no feats. What's wrong with you, Mac? 
I gotta give some respect to these characters, you'll just have to be hype. Now here comes your part. Please drop in the comment section your top 10 Hunter Hunter characters and I can't wait to read all you guys' comments. I know some people are gonna be angry at me, but I know some people are gonna have some crazy list that I can see and read it and actually compare it to my own list. So tell me your thoughts in the comment section, like and share if you enjoyed, like and share only if you enjoyed, and subscribe for more Hunter Hunter content. I'm Nen Mac and I'm gone.